another featherweight bout here, Charles Jordan and Crone Gracie, the return of Crone Gracie, plus 180 for Gracie, minus 180 for Charles Jordan, over under two and a half rounds, plus 180 for the over, minus 180 for the under, so they're expecting a bit of violence in this one. The always entertaining Charles Jordan and Crone Gracie, who we all know is going to be looking for the takedown and looking for that submission, and in all likelihood, if he does get it to the ground, Probably going to get it. Uh, all of his wins come by submission. Four in the first round, one in the second round. His only loss is a decision. Charles Jordan, all action. And his only time he's ever been finished was uh, he got submitted in the third round. You taking the stab on Crone Gracie at the plus money, or are you taking I, uh, Charles Jordan? I think I am going to take a stab at it, if I'm being honest. And not confidently, obviously. Yeah. But, but look, I mean... You look at Charles Jordan um, against Nathaniel Wood, he just kind of got, you know, eventually dominated. Um, the striking, you know, numbers were kind of close, but if you watch the fight, like, he just – he wasn't on that same level that night. Loses to Shane Burgos' majority decision. Pretty good fight. That was a fun one. Beats Lando Venata by sub. Um, and then uh, the, the, the thing that's just been jumping off the page all week when you look at his record – in his last six fights in the UFC, he's been taken down in every single fight, every single one of them. Um, five times by Nathaniel Wood, twice by Shane Burgos. Um, you know, Lando Venata took him down uh, before he got subbed in the first round. Andre Ewell, Julian Arosa twice. Um, Marcelo Rojo took him down. So it's like, man, if in. I think he's getting taken down because he overextends on some of his shots. He gets a little too close, tries to get in the pocket and he'll try to hit you. And he kind of lunges out um, just leaving himself to get wrapped up and taken down. And I think a guy like Crone Gracie is going to be watching that. And he knows that. And if he can get this thing to the ground or pull guard, like he is so damn good, uh, you know, on the ground that he can submit anybody in this division and anybody at this level. So that, that makes it extremely you know, nerve wracking. If you do want to bet on Charles Jordan, knowing that if this thing goes to the ground, there's a damn good shot that he's going to get subbed. So I, I do think it hits the mat at least once or twice. Um, for the money, man, I got to go with Crone Gracie. He's tough. He, he's tough enough, at least in my opinion, you look at that fight with Cub Swanson. I have no idea how that thing went to decision. Um, beat Alex, Alex Caceres by sub who probably, you know, has a, I don't even want to say similar grappling and submission game as Charles Jordan, but I don't think Jordan's going to be, you know, much better than Caceres. I think a lot of people love Charles Jordan, but look at his record in the UFC. Look at his losses. Like the guy's not exactly top tier, top level fighter by any means. So yeah, man, I'm going to go with Crone Gracie in this one. I think he has a good sh shot at getting a sub here. As odd of a matchup that it is, like it's kind of intriguing because mm -hmm. Charles is like, Exciting on the feet, but can he keep it there? Like, if it's on the feet, it's probably Charles Jordan all day. Yeah. But Crone Gracie, probably not going to let him do that. I mean, he's taken, he absorbs eight strikes per minute, Crone Gracie does, uh, in his two UFC fights. Charles Jordan lands 5.84. <sighs> yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, <sighs> with the layoff, I don't, probably won't get like too invested because like who knows where Crone Gracie is really at. Like, is he really into it still? Like, what's what what was with the layoff? Like, what's uh, what does he really plan to do? I mean, he's thirty four, so it might be like a live betting spot, but it could very well get finished in the first round. Um, live betting mean you know, kind of get the feel for it, like where this fight's going to be heading. Um, but yeah, I'll go with Crone Gracie because I, yeah, like you said, I mean, it in all likelihood probably does hit the ground or Crone Gracie can snatch up the back, like from a clinch position or something. So I'll go with Crone Gracie, Charles Jordan, uh, could, I, I mean, he's just fights so, so wild. Like, I don't see how he could like stay safe for three rounds. Like that's not really in his blood to like you know, stay with the jab and stay away and, and stuff takedowns and everything like that. So yeah, I'll go with Crone Gracie with you. This is just a weird one, man. Like yeah. 
with especially with Charles Sterling coming off the two losses in a row, I thought he probably won the Burgos fight, but that's just me. And I also had money on him, so I was a little pissed at that. But yeah, yeah, it, uh, it's uh, that's a weird one. It's a weird one. I wouldn't get too invested. Um, but a fun fight to watch for sure. It's not one that you really need money to like get invested in, you know. 